Are you looking for a delicious dessert, but that's also really healthy and vegan, gluten-free, and no-bake and easy to make? Well, I got it for you. We are making a peanut butter chocolate chip cookie bar that is all of those things. The first thing we are going to do is mix together our wet ingredients. And here I have my peanut butter and it's really nice and soft so I can easily pour it in and mix it together. And I have half a cup plus two tablespoons. And I also have a fourth cup of coconut milk plus one tablespoon. These are funny measurements, I know as well as a fourth cup plus one tablespoon of maple syrup. One of the things I love about this recipe is it has only natural sugar, so it's sweetened by some maple syrup as well as dates. I'm also adding in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And now we can just stir this all together so that it's completely combined. Now I can add in my dry ingredients and I have half a teaspoon of salt along with two and a half tablespoons of maca powder. It is completely optional to add this in, but I really like it because it is so good for you. It's actually a sacred root of the Incas, and it is known for giving you more endurance and energy. And actually today it is being studied for its enhancement of fertility and libido. So little fact of the day, my friend uses this every day. She actually got me into it and she adds a teaspoon to her morning smoothie. And she says she can just feel the boost of energy. So I've started using it in a lot of my recipes. Now we can mix in our flours and I have one cup of coconut flour going in along with one and a half cups of almond flour. And this is a fairly thick dough. So this will be where you get your arm workout in during the day is mixing this all together. Now that my flour is completely combined, we can add in our chocolate chips. And I have one cup of dark chocolate chips going in, but if you don't have chocolate chips on hand, you can also just use a dark chocolate bar and cut it up and make it chunks. That's what I did actually last time I made this recipe because I was out of chocolate chips. But you do want to add in one cup either way. Now we're going to just gently fold in our chocolate chips until it's completely combined. And I actually like to get in with my hands during this step. So make sure your hands are clean if you're doing this method, just to make sure they're getting totally combined. And it's also a little bit easier than using a wooden spoon in my opinion. And I also have an eight by eight baking dish next to me. And I lined it with some parchment paper to just make sure this does not stick. So now I just poured this in my dish and my trick to getting it really smooth and flat is to use a measuring cup and just press it down because this also makes sure that it's equal, an equal level all around. Now we can start on our date walnut topping. So I have a food processor or you can use a blender or you can do this by hand, but by hand is a lot more work. And I have one and a half cups of walnuts along with two tablespoons of cocoa powder and a fourth teaspoon of salt. And I have 10 dates, make sure that you pit them. And one thing I recommend is use really nice soft dates because I find the softer and squishier the date, the sweeter they are. And we are going to blend this together. I also have two tablespoons of water on the side that I'm going to slowly add in in case it gets too thick or my blade gets stuck. I'm not gonna lie, this stuff is so delicious. It's kind of my favorite part. So sneak a bite right now because you won't regret it. And here I have my cookie out of the freezer and I'm going to top it with my chocolatey date walnut mixture. And I'm just going to wanna smooth this across the entire cookie dough. Now that this is smoothed down evenly and it looks so good, I'm going to go chill this for another 30 minutes in my freezer so everything has time to set up. My hands are a little chocolatey, excuse me. And then we can cut out our cookie bars. And now we're just going to carefully, because we have this, well, never mind. Let's see. Lift it out of the tray. Look at that, it holds together so well. And remove the parchment paper. Wow, that was smoother than I even hoped for. And you can cut these in any shape you like. I like using them as little squares, or this is more of a rectangle now. 
and I like to just keep these in my fridge, but I don't need all of this at once because these are a lot of bars. So I usually keep half of them in the freezer and then as I go through them, I just transfer them to the fridge the night before. And now the best part, getting to taste. Mm. Wow. So good. This, one second, I'm still chewing. Um, it was a bigger bite than I meant it to be. Well, these are so good. They're so packed full of flavor. And I love it when I'm trying to be a little bit healthier, but I still want dessert at the end of the night because these just hit the spot. So please let me know if you try this recipe and what you think in the comments down below. Also, if you wanna see some more healthy homemade desserts, there will be a playlist right here or over here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next Sunday. Bye for now.